guys, welcome back to vlog morning. Happy February 14th. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I just woke up and I ran some errands because I wanted Jordan to like come downstairs and just like have a little Valentine's Day surprise. So I'll show you guys what what I got. Still sleeping, but I went and got him his favorite donuts and then like all his favorite drinks. I got him an oat milk cappuccino, but if he wanted a cold coffee, I got him um, a La Colombe like draft latte and then a little soda for later and then <laughs> champagne for later too. And then I wrapped the present that I was telling you about. It's like a humongous cutting board. I tried opening it to like wrap it individually, but it's like so heavy. <laughs> so my wrap drop is like the worst ever, but. It's huge, I'm so excited to give it to him. And then I just wrapped this little like cleaning oil. I don't know, it's part two of his present. You know what I mean? It's like a cleaning oil that you use on the cutting board. So I'm just waiting for him to wake up and I'm trying to be quiet, <laughs> but cute, right? I love Valentine's Day. I also made him a card because I went out and tried to find one, but nothing's open right now because it's so early. So I just made him one. And so you can see my janky handwriting. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, also, I already gave him some, some of it, but I have another one. I got five little, little chocolate covered strawberry dog treats. Like, tell me that's not the cutest thing ever. He's upstairs though. I obviously have to work today, but um, I am taking off tomorrow. Jordan like planned like a whole day for me and we're going to dinner tonight and I'm so excited. I just wanted to show you my little setup for when he comes downstairs, I'm so excited. I like love this stuff. I love Valentine's Day. I think I already mentioned this. I've always liked Valentine's Day, but I don't know. It's just so cute. I also got little like cookie cutters or whatever. I wanted to make Valentine's Day cookies today. I thought that could be fun. Um, a fun thing for us to, to do together. I don't know what I'm going to wear tonight, so I figured we could like get ready together and go through the motions of picking out an outfit because... I want to wear something like extra cute tonight since it's Valentine's Day, obviously. So anyway, I will chat with you guys in a little bit. I just got an exciting package in the mail. Also, I had to put on a pink set for Valentine's Day. This is from, when did I get this? I feel like a while ago from Boys Lie. I love it. It's so cute. I, <laughs> I really wanted it to be Skims, like Cherry Blossom pink set, but... I have this one. And also, I can't buy anything right now anyway. So, need something to open this with. Let me see if I could do it on my own. No, no, I can't. One thing about the 75 hard shit is that it's definitely making me just really think about every single purchase before I buy it. And I feel like I had so much stuff in my cart on Sephora. It like took me a month to make this order, to be honest. Like this was the other night and I was like, all right, I do need a couple things and I do want a couple things, but I had way more in my cart and I only ended up getting, you know, a few things. So this isn't like a massive haul by any means, but a haul's a haul, baby, okay? I think this is just like a sample that it came with, but I wanted to try this. It's the Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Voluminizer. So it's just a mousse, which I'm excited about because I'm wondering if this will help keep my hair from falling. I have heard to use some mousse whenever you're doing a blowout. So I'm gonna do that the next time I wash my hair. I washed my hair yesterday and I used the Amika curler on it, but like obviously it's like completely flat right now. So I need to redo it tonight. But next time I wash my hair, I'm gonna use this though and see if it works, especially up here. Like my roots flatter than my chest, you know? Got it in the mini size. I saw this girl I follow, I forget her last name, but um, her name's Amanda. I, she's an influencer, following her on Instagram. And she always has like a really nice slick back bun. And she says that she uses this. This is the Orbe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. I think that this is a leave-in conditioner, um, but she uses it like to really just like slick back her hair. And I've been using a hair mask to get this because one, I'm almost out of the hair mask and also the hair mask is huge, huge. So I can't travel with it. I figured like the next time I'm on the go or anything like that, I can just throw this in my travel bag and slick my hair back that way. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. So I wanna smell it. I like love fragrance in honestly everything. My skin and my hair, I don't really have sensitive skin or, or scalp. So I really appreciate a nice fragrance in my skincare or 
my hair care. It smells good. Not great, but good. I'm excited about this. The Tower 28, they came out with like lip glosses, lip jelly. I feel like every single brand is coming out with their own like tube lip gloss, which I love because I think I've mentioned this before, at every part of my house, I have a lip gloss in arm's reach. Something about lip glosses these days, it's almost like a collector's item. I don't know, there's something just so feminine about having different lip glosses. And this is the Tower 28 Tinted Lip Treatment. It's Lip Softy. And it's in Watermelon Kiwi, which I saw that scent and I was like, yeah. There's a couple of different um, shades, but I'm, I always like to go for like a lighter, baby pink type of shade. So here's the packaging. Thought it was super cute. I don't know, there's something about this. It just is nostalgic to me. So let's try it out. Already right now. Oh, that tastes like candy. The applicator is really nice. It's just like a smooth applicator. I put way too much on, okay. So pretty. Love, 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 love. Like these are just like the little things. Necessary? No, but I love it and it makes me happy. Yes. So I got that a little mini hourglass um, airbrush concealer, the Vanish concealer. I have this, but I think I mentioned in my last vlog that I, my like the full size version that I have broke and I wanted to actually try a different shade. I have the um, shade Beach, which I do like, but sometimes I feel like it's a little bit too yellow and this seems a little bit more neutral to me. So I wanted to just try the mini version. Um, again, I just love concealers. I toggle between this one, the Natasha Denona, and then the House Labs one. But yeah, I just wanted to try this. And again, I like a little mini version. So this is in sepia. Yeah, I feel like that's a perfect color for me. My other one is just a little bit yellow. So we'll see. I already have concealer on, but kind of how it blends and I feel like that's actually so perfect so we'll see when I redo my makeup tonight like I already I already did my makeup I did a lot of pink today for Valentine's Day um so I'm gonna do redo my makeup tonight and use this and we'll see we'll see how it goes I got a say beauty cream blush which I'm really excited for never tried these so I got it in the color baby and this was what prompted this entire purchase I really really wanted to try this I love a cool toned pink blush this is the applicator Barbie pink. Pretty. That's like exactly what I wanted. It's like the perfect cool tone pink. So I don't have a cream blush like this in this color. And I've heard that Say Beauty is like very just sheer. Not that I don't love like a cream blush like Rare Beauty, but sometimes I'm like, oh my god, this is just too much and I want something that's a little bit more buildable. I just like to have options. And again, I really love this color. So I'm excited to try this. I'm going to do a look with this tonight. So this is the Makeup Forever eyeliner lip liner i think it's like all in one but i got it for the lip liner purpose um in endless cacao i'm so excited for this almost like gray brown which i don't have anything like this and i feel like you've heard me talk so much about lip liners and brown lip liners but i swear i don't have a shade quite like this so i was really really excited to try this swatch it for you yeah that's so pretty Okay, I'm gonna do a full look tonight with like all of these new products. Just like scrolling on Super Bowl Sunday um, and I saw that this wasn't sold out and same with this blush. So I was like, okay, this is the universe telling me I need to place this for I order. So yeah, that is all I got. Like I said, I didn't go crazy. I held myself back. I feel like I was like responsible, but at the same time, I had a little fun, you know? Oh, I also wanted to show you guys. I feel like I plug my mom all the time, but I don't know if you've heard the designer, um, spinelli i think that's what it is they make jewelry and they make this like iconic ring the spinelli ring i saw it trending on tiktok not even trending i just saw it on tiktok just absolutely loved it and lately like when i've been seeing something some sort of jewelry that i like instead of buying it i will just ask my mom to recreate it and make it if you don't know by now my mom made my engagement ring and she's a jeweler it's her to recreate this ring and she literally <laughs> killed it i just want to show you how stunning this ring is. I'm genuinely in love with it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So it's like two-toned, two-toned obviously, thinner gold band with a thicker gold band. And then in between is this um, sterling silver band with some cubic zirconia in it. And holding them together is like just these little sterling silver little loops. So it's like three rings in one. So yeah, 
I love it. I just like, I'm obsessed with um, gold and silver together. I feel like growing up, I was always mortified of that idea, but now I just like love it. Like I feel like every single thing that I own now is silver and gold, like these earrings, silver and gold. So yeah, go mom. Love me mom. I know you watch these. It was so funny. The other day she came, when, well, when she came over to drop off the ring, she was just like, oh, I was watching her vlog. She was like, sometimes I don't watch all of them though because they're really long. So like, I don't even know if she'll get to this part of the vlog. It's just like such my mom thing to say. I don't know. She's very honest. Anyway, I'm going to make some Valentine's Day cookies now. So let's do that. <laughs> gonna give up baking on this channel because it doesn't work out for me I know what I did I didn't put them in the fridge before I put them in the oven so they came out as blobs <laughs> my heart is so big that it burst <laughs> is what I told Jordan these look like shit but that's okay happy Valentine's Day guys try again <laughs> probably not I'm getting ready to go out to dinner right now I just put on the sepia hourglass concealer it's definitely light um but i'm kind of feeling it it's like 604 right now we have a 715 reservation but we have to leave here at like 645 we're gonna drive because it's in a different part of the city we're going to this place if you're not from philly you're not gonna know but it's called bar 1010 and they have bomb pizza apparently but we did go there last weekend just for a drink because they're famous or like known for their espresso martini that they shave parmesan on and it sounds really weird but we tried it last week because like i don't want to go there on valentine's day and try it and be disappointed so we tried it then literally the best espresso martini i've ever had i don't know what it is but it like adds like the perfect amount of brininess to it obsessed with it so i'm so excited we literally like haven't eaten all day i ate donuts and like a cookie but I've eaten like nothing substantial, which is stupid. Don't recommend doing that, but I'm rushing because poor Fival, oh my God. He has like something wrong with his eye. And I noticed it yesterday and he was like, kind of like his eye was like, felt, like pussing. I know that sounds gross, but it's the reality of it. So I was like nervous yesterday. Jordan was like, I don't know. It doesn't look that bad. Like maybe just wait. I wanted to call the vet yesterday because I'm like crazy, but... I woke up this morning and it was just, it was worse. His eyes red, like it looks like he has an infection. So we took him to the vet. Our vet is like so good. It's in Center City, Philadelphia. It's Center City Vet. And like they are the best people ever. Like literally called them at noon, got him in at five o'clock. So <sighs> he's okay though. He has to get, he like, they prescribed him drops. It's just like some bacterial infection that like could have been contracted anywhere. He's fine. He did really well, but I literally started crying. It was just falling my ass out. And then we went home and I was just crying on the way home. Like no reason. I'm just, I don't know. Like, you know, when you just like think about like, gosh, it could have been so much worse. And like, I don't know. You just hate to assume. You just hate to think about that. And like, I was just thinking about people that I know that have been through things like much worse with their animals and just really grateful and thankful that everything was okay but it just like made me emotional like if you have an animal you get it like it's just they're your babies and you just want to make sure everything is okay so everything is okay I need to like take a breath but I was so glad that Jordan was with me because I I don't know I just don't like seeing like I don't know them upset and hurt and he was like Jordan was parking the car and I just had five in my arms and he was just shaking. I just felt so freaking bad. Uh, but it's okay. He's okay. Everything is fine. Would have started getting ready a lot earlier. And I don't even know what I'm wearing. Like, don't have the time right now, but that's okay. I'm my dog is okay, so really everything else is just it doesn't even matter. Alright, I'm gonna try this say blush though. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Alright, I'm gonna do the Tower 28, just because it's like a nude pink. 
Good enough. I need to do my hair. Okay. I got ready in the nick of time. I have like eight, I don't know, five minutes until we have to leave. Six, maybe. Let me show you what I'm wearing. Like, I actually don't think there's been a vlog where I'm going out for the night and I'm not completely rushing and being like, oh, I gotta go. I can't even show you my outfit. Unbelievable. Whatever. Okay. You can't even see it. Okay. I'm just doing black on black. It's this like black Zara tank. And then this mini skirt that I got from Urban like a couple years ago. And then just my black boots. I really wanted to just do something like super, super simple. So I almost like... I wanted to make it look like this was just like a dress to be honest and I feel like the blacks the blacks go. First I wanted to just like show a little bit of midriff but I'm wearing tights so I was like you know what we're just gonna make it look like it's just a dress. The look. I feel like simple, cute, whatever. I wanted to put, I know big hoops aren't for everyone but I wanted to like put some hoops in. So I'm just gonna put my jewelry on. I hear Jordan's on the phone. I have no idea who with but whatever and yeah i ran my hair through with the amica and you can like barely see my hair right now but it looks like blowouty so yeah by the way jordan literally wrote me a poem and he read it to me earlier <laughs> i literally was crying i've just been, i've cried like three times today just like well the final thing that was sad i'm just like literally a crybaby girl needs drink i also really like this lip liner it's like almost gray which i really like i feel like it's very 90s supermodel vibe every single vlog when i refer to makeup i'm always like cool tone 90s <laughs> like julia shut up i will show you guys like clips of the restaurant but in terms of like this vlog probably gonna end it off here you guys you're all my valentines i hope you had an amazing valentine's day and if you didn't then just remember it's a hallmark holiday and it's not real so I love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.